guys, happy Friday. Look what my dear Harley got me. It's adorable. Look at it. Look at it. Geeks of the Week. For those who don't know, this is an adipose from episode one of season four of Doctor Who, and they're adorable, even though they are technically animated blobs of human fat. So as you know, Steph joined me this weekend for the Las Vegas Comic Con, and Steph, I cannot believe you made your video after the plane ride after this exhausting con weekend. You looked so tired. But I'm so glad you came out, it was fun having you here, and I'm glad you got to meet all of my Vegas friends. Well, my con-going Vegas friends, obviously. I think one of my small favorite things in life is when friends that I care about meet each other and they all get along and like being in each other's company. So yay! Pyro, what are you making now? I need to know. And I feel like we should join forces because it seems like most of my costumes involve red as well or are completely red. But good luck with whatever you're making this time. I hope it turns out. Mario, it seems like you're the only one we have yet to drag into the cosplay world. One day. I enjoyed your Man of Steel review, and based on last Friday's video, we obviously agree with your points. I say we, me and Steph, but I do. And the reaction to the end. Steph and I were like, but he doesn't. That's the point. Uh, I guess it's just one more change they wanted to throw in. Okay, so really quick before I move on to some news, I wanted to show you the one thing that I got at the Comic-Con this last weekend, and it's a series of four Avengers prints by an artist named Daryl Skelton. Iron Man, America, Thor, Hulk. But they're absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to frame them and put them on my wall, but I'll put a link to his art below. I, I think he has a website. I'll put a link to something below because you've got to see these up close. They're fantastic. And of course, Steph already mentioned it, but we did get our picture with Stanley in our Avengers dresses, and he loved them, and it was fantastic and made our lives. But the picture is on our Geeks of the Week Facebook page if you wanted to see it. Okay, so not sure if there were really any doubts about this, but Robert Downey Jr. has officially signed on for two more Avengers movies. Forever Tony Stark. Ned Stark's bastard. However, there will apparently not be more Loki, which makes me worry about what's gonna happen in the upcoming Thor movie. So I was going to go on a long, angry rant about a video that was posted earlier regarding judgment of cosplay, but I feel like we've done that before, even though it can't be done enough. But even still, I don't like feeling angry, so I'm just gonna say, Anyone, especially non-cosplayers, who feel like they have a need to pass negative judgment on cosplayers that feel brave enough to put on a costume of any caliber out in public to represent the things that they love, they need to get their head out of their ass and do something more productive with their lives. It's called cosplay for a reason. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not even going to link the video because I don't want them getting more advertising revenue. Just know it was a bitch video made by a bitch site. So instead of spending a video angry, I'm going to talk about something that has made me very happy recently, and that is playing League of Legends. I played a couple of rounds before the con last week, but technically I really didn't start playing until this week. And I've gotten up to level 8, and it's really fun if you haven't played it before. It's basically you team up with either your friends if you have friends playing, or the computer will match you up with teammates and you it's basically a capture the flag kind of a thing you battle against either AI or other actual players and you go through and destroy something called turrets that are shoot lasers at you so you have to destroy them quickly or get someone else to distract the laser <laughs> you destroy their turrets until you get up to their home base and then you destroy their main I don't actually know what it's called there's inhibitors and then there's like the crystal at the, I haven't looked into it I don't know what it's called I just Played it. I started hearing about it at Fanime when some of my friends did epic cosplays of some of the characters, and then I found out some of my friends here play it, so that was even more incentive to give it a shot. I've never played any games like this before, I didn't do World of Warcraft or anything like that, but League of Legends was free, so I was like, why the hell not? My friend Joe, who you might remember was my Mal in my Firefly video when we did Election Week, he has been helping me a little bit because the first time I played with him he was like, so you have a ranged character and yet somehow you always end up running into the fight like there are dragons! So yeah, he's been helping me learn more strategy to the game and like what weapons are best for the character that I like. But I am getting better on League of Legends. I even was able to lead one of the games and I took out like 
eight champions, a bunch of turrets, and I was responsible for destroying the home base, so yay! <laughs> so yeah, League of Legends is fun, cosplay is fun, not a beauty or any other sort of competition. Oh, my Las Vegas Comic Con video was up on my regular channel, I'll put a link in the description, and have a great weekend, stay geeky, and we'll see you next week. Oh my god, this is the hottest I've ever been in my life. Later!